Good morning, afternoon, and evening, gamers. We're back with another episode of Koromon. In the last one, we climbed through the entire second floor and did a lot of soul searching and rehashing. Right now, what we're doing is going through Nostalgia Central because this is essentially uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, uh, an homage to them, so to speak. And honestly, I'm all in here for it. Um, everybody seems to be pretty strong. Okay, so my boy. My, my little man evolved, and he's so cute, and he's not as cute anymore, and it makes me sad. <laughs> what does Berserk do again? Oh, jeez. I hate feelers. Feelers is such a good move. And then this is going to do a butt ton of damage. <sighs> if this is how much damage we're doing now, can you only imagine how much damage we, should, we would be doing otherwise? I thought it was four turns. Was that not four turns? Well, Ambival, Ambival, Ember, Ember. You know, I'm not gonna get used to your evolution. You don't look as cute anymore, and it makes me sad. But I mean, at least on the bright side, you have a little volcano on your back. Bite seems to be pretty strong, all things considered. I'm not a huge fan of... Come on. Really? He outspeeds too? That's just dumb. You know... This game really do be testing me. It tests me every day. Every night. Every time I play it, it's like, hey man, this is what you have to deal with today. And you can't even buy really healing items. Not healing items. You can't really buy them. Um... You can't buy Phoenix Shards. You can't do a lot of things. Maybe I'm just silly. Oh yeah, uh, we should, might as well pick this up and see if it was worth it. I don't know what that is, so it's probably not worth it. Let's do our milestones, because it's been a while. We're playing this... Claim it. Claim it. Don't forget to claim your experience and things, kids. Because if you do... Okay, and then we go to milestones. We go to... Oh, well, that's exactly what we need, actually. And a bunch of monies. Let's go. And then, since we have two Phoenix Shards, we can use them... Instead of worrying about going back all the way to heal, because honestly, I'm really not about it. I really don't feel like it. It takes so gosh darn long to go and heal in this game. Do I know why? No. Do I care why? Yes, but no. And then we get this item. Can move now. Come on. Oh, really? <sighs> okay, let's see what she has. Sand scale. So we'll switch in Fiddly. Oh no, he's menacing. That's a JoJo reference. Okay, so we're going to use our Fury Pincer because that's the arguably better move. If it does like 10 less damage but attacks multiple times, is it really like weaker? You know? And that did exactly half, so we just need to do two more hits. 
and then we're good. Of course. Of course, you know, you know my luck. You know, it's okay. No worries, game. It's not like it makes me mad or anything. No, I am I am in the perfect fit of health. My heart is phenomenal. I am waiting for uh, somebody to test me harder. I don't use tough enough, so we might as well put last stand on. Oh, Tinshell's evolving as well! Okay, let's see what you evolve into, buddy. Crab Walker! Oh, he has a little cannon! Oh, that's so cute! His name is Dunpod now. Dunpod? I'm gonna do feign spurts because honestly, I'm really not about it. I'm really not about to put up with this. Let's go! Take him down. Or not. And Cinder shouldn't... Yeah, that's what I thought. Cinder shouldn't kill. Um, Bane Spurts is going to get him down to, like, 18. That's fine. Fiddly, you did a great job. And then we'll send out Glidwing. Guildwing? Guildwing. Because Wind Blast is super effective. Very effective. I'm sorry. I don't use the words correctly. Clearly. I don't like the trainers in this game. I don't like them. And then we're gonna go here. Oh, I did the wrong thing. That's okay. And then we go up here to go up here. To go here. And then to here, which will lead us here. Which will send us all the way back anyway. Yay! Do this. Gold, yes! Okay, so then we're gonna go down here like this. Then go down here. And then we need a minute to assess. And then we go up here. And go here. And then up here. send us here, which will send us here, which will send us here. I did it again. Oh my gosh. Let me go down. So we don't want to take that one. Try this one. I didn't even notice those were the bottom ones were part of it. And then we take this one. What? Okay, then we'll take this one. Then we'll go back, I guess. Okay, I'm stuck. Let's see. Okay, game. You're seriously messing with me now.
Okay, and we did it. We did it, folks. We did it. It took me a minute. I had to think for like a good a good hard moment, but we did it. Okay. Let's hope that she's not too tough. You're heading for the Titan. Good luck in faster security measures. Like, did nobody tell you that I was here to stop Titan be from being assaulted by gosh darn aliens? Different dimension beings? Did nobody tell you? Because honestly, you would think that somebody would make a phone call and be like, Hey, this guy, he's coming in. He's going to be like, this tall, with cool hair, and a green jacket, and he's going to help us and protect the Titan. That's what he's going to do. And you need to let him through. Like, who do, who, who do I speak to about this? Like, can I make a phone call? Do you have, like, a 1-800 number that I can call and be like, Hey, so what's going on here? Because honestly, it's a little ridiculous that I have to go through all of this continuously. And you know what? It's it's very frustrating for somebody with a Dunpod. Like, who, who told you that my Dunpod would have a giant glass cannon, giant, like, sand cannon on his back? It literally looks like Gara's Gord from Naruto. Like, he's here because he wants vengeance, blood, on his little claws. He wants it, and he gets it. So, really, who's doing who the disservice here? Uh, am I doing you the disservice of allowing you to get your butt kicked by my boys and girls? Or are you doing me the disservice of... I forgot what the, that is. It's like a rock. Um, I'll hard switch into patter bit and then have patter bit to handle it. Okay, so we're gonna put in feelers. Because, you know, you might as well do something good. Okay, and then we're gonna switch to AC. And AC should just be able to one-shot it, I would think. Uh, that's spooky. Or a lightning strike. And because you have feelers, it should do a ton of damage. And you should be able to live that barely. And then from there. Okay. Bam, ba, 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 da, da. the front and my better judgment tells me to not battle this lady but I'm gonna do it anyway they can also be used to battle of course they can Clarabelle I like this area it's very nice very tricky oh I remember this move this move, oh my gosh, I hate this move. It is too, it's, it's too crazy. Like it does too much. Like look at all that. And then it does that much damage, then it makes you bleed. And then, and then he heals, no, I'm sorry. He gets attack power from it. And then he has a <laughs> game. Game, you're really doing it to me today. You're really messing me up. You're really, you're really making me the hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, I don't even know what that means. You're making me so flustered. OK. 
Okay, level 19, that's what I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about. And then we'll switch out Dunpod, switch in Dunpod, because Dunpod is our man on the ground to handle these electric threats. That's what he does. It's electrifying. And you know what? He cuts through your defense. Because my boy Dunpod, he's like Gara from the sand. He says, Katu, Katu. And what are you gonna do about it? Absolutely nothing. Because guess what? Can you can can you sit down with me and can you make a guess? You, you, you're down. You got two crits in a row. You're done. It's over for you. And then <gasps> it's the evolution of the bear. He's so cute. He kind of looks like a toddler. Wearing a diaper. There was no possible way that I could have predicted that it would have a water move. No possible way. And then just AC. Just gonna have to pray that AC. Oh, you're faster than my AC? Oh, well. I did say against my better judgment I would fight this guy. So. Against my better judgment it was. And then. Squad. I might as well use my last one that I've been saving on Embival. And then we'll just switch in Patterbit so that he can heal. And if Patterbit lives, we'll do with feelers. So, dealers it is. Okay, and then since we found a weak spot, we will... We'll give him us SP Cake 2. And then the Frost Chomp takes him down. That's fine. I really just want to hit the checkpoint. So Flaming Tackle should do a ton of damage. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, well, Flaming Tackle again, I guess. Dunpunter to level 20, that's nice. Okay, well, you know, we didn't really get to see the sun, the ice bear, so... At least we got to see him now. Um, it definitely was scary, and I, as I said, I went against my better judgment and did so. So I reached the checkpoint. Hello there, Mr. Windy. I'm the challenger, please come in. Hello. You're trying to reach the top of the power tower, I presume. You'll have to get past my challenge first. Now, you better just turn back if you never want to break my code. I'm not going anywhere. I'll take your challenge. Okay, if you say so. Come, follow me then. What we're going to do is I will enter a code into my computer by selecting four colors, and you will try and break the code in ten tries or less. I just slipped the color fuses into your pocket. You didn't even notice that? <laughs> How will you even break my code? Don't give me that look. You should be grateful. You need them to input the code. You do this by putting four fuses into the socket door, and then you want to submit your guesses, press the red button. After that, my current will run through the door, and the correct fuses are in the correct position. The door will open. The screen will indicate how many fuses are correct and in the wrong position or not present at all. The green check mark in indicates correct fuses, the orange arrows indicate wrong positions, and red cross in fuses not present in my code. Maybe that sounds a little bit too easy, huh? No worries, I'll take care of that. Entering the code now. Don't peek. Hey, you won't. You'll never break the code. I'm gonna take this item. I won't break the code in a second. Okay, so. 
green. Blue. Yellow. Orange. That's my guess. Wait, so three in, I need to move around, and one is wrong. How am I supposed to do this? Well, let's check if yellow goes here, and blue goes here. Twenty seconds to change the fuses, and then they'll be locked in place. And then we'll check orange, green, blue. So yellow isn't correct. So we'll try purple. So, not purple, so... And then we'll switch around. Make blue here. Green here. Well, actually, let's switch out green for... like lose the one that's incorrect and then one two one so I think orange is in the right place and then we'll put yellow here red here Red, green. I did it! What? I broke my code already? I can't believe it. I'll take those fuses back. I guess I went too easy on you. You lucky! Next time will be even harder. You won't beat me again, just you wait. Okay, and then we're gonna go up. Okay, hopefully this won't trigger an event so that we can heal. Oh, so what's the entire point of all of, you know what game? You're really making me angry. You're really, you're really doing that. You're giving me a lot to do here. Do this. What am I supposed to do? What's this? Nothing. Wait, let me try that again. Do 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 Oh, okay. Alright, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna hold it here. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.